It's an absolutely pristine, magical morning. I'm wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom. I want you to receive the positive energy, receive the positive vibes I'm sending your way. Guys, it's such a beautiful day. Remind yourself every single day that life is beautiful, life is fun, life is exciting, life is worth living. Your life is worth living. Your journey, your ascension, your growth is worth living. Guys, life is a miracle. Life is a gift. Tell yourself this every single day and you will be happy. Come outside every single day into nature. Get some sunlight. Get some prana. Fresh prana from the trees, from the bushes. Guys, the green trees are providing you with the life, with the air, with the prana. Come out here and receive it. The life is here, it's ready to receive. So come out here and receive it. And it's such a gift, it's so amazing. But guys, in this video, we are talking about the ascension energies, the ascension symptoms that we have been feeling for the past month and the past, you know, time that we've been going through the past few weeks that we've been going through because it's eclipse season and this is the crazy eclipse energy and i have to come out here and talk about the wild crazy ascension symptoms that we are feeling that we are experiencing that we are going through on this planet on this earth at the moment okay so first off i want to say if you are experiencing challenges in your life if you are experiencing lots of changes in your life if you're experiencing hardships struggles really going through it i just want to say that is completely normal for this time and that is completely okay for this time and that is actually a good thing okay if you are experiencing all these crazy energies all these challenges all of this growth and change in your life during this time I want to say congratulations you are doing good it is a good thing right now to experience the challenges it is a good thing to experience the changes because that is what this journey of ascension is all about with the ascension symptoms we are supposed to be feeling the challenges we are supposed to be feeling all the chaos all the chaotic energies during this time it is completely normal so it's so important to remind ourselves that this is okay this is perfect my struggles my challenges at this time are perfect because guys it's the season of change it is the season of change every time fall comes around i've noticed that we receive the changes we get massive changes we get massive upgrades during the season of change and it's not easy to deal with these ascension symptoms. We can call them ascension symptoms, we can call them life symptoms. In reality, that's what they are. They're just life symptoms. Symptoms of being a human being on planet Earth during this time. You know, it's just symptoms of life. Going through challenges, going through changes, going through the flow, going through the journey of life, the process of life. If you're going through the challenges, if you're experiencing the hardships, I want to say congratulations, and I also want to say that you are one brave soul. If you are watching this video, you are brave. You are braver than you think, okay? With the ascension symptoms that have been going on, with the heavy Scorpio, Taurus, eclipse energies that have been going on, you are braver than you know. You are stronger than you know, and you can make it through whatever you are feeling, whatever you are going through right now with life in general, whatever process you're going through, whatever healing you're going through, whatever fears you're facing, I want you to know that you are stronger than you know. So much of the time, I forget my strength, I forget my true power, I forget my true bravery, but I am braver than I know. I am stronger than I know. We as human beings can make it through a lot of stuff. We have been through so many things. We have been through so many challenges in all of existence, okay? 
We've been through wars. We've been through traumas, so many traumas, so many hard situations. Guys, the human being is strong. The human being can make it through. And I also want to say, there are things that we want in this life, right? Especially, you know, a big theme during this time with the ascension symptoms is that we want to manifest the life that we want to live, okay? I know that you want to manifest the true dream life that is truly resonant with you. You want to manifest your dream life. You want to manifest a life that is in alignment with who you are. And I want to say that you can do it. I'm here to give you the motivation, give you the encouragement, and tell you that, yes, sometimes we're going to feel like we're powerless. Sometimes we're going to feel like we can't do it. Sometimes we're going to feel like we can't move forward anymore. But I want to say that you can do it. You can do it. If there is something that you really want bad enough in this life, you can do it. It's just a matter of consistency and persistence and realizing that you are the masterpiece and the work in progress at the same time. Something Ralph Smart says that really resonates with me, okay? You are the work in progress but you are also the masterpiece at the same time. You see, that's the key. It's about being happy with where you're at, being grateful with where you're at, but understanding that you have more to grow. You have more to receive. You have more abundance, more magic to experience in this life. But at the same time, like I said, you are good with your life. You are grateful for this moment. You have what you need. And this is something that I've been feeling very strongly with the, with the past month, with this time, is that, yes, there are things that I want to manifest. There's a dream life that we all want to manifest. But at the same time, I am good. I am grateful for what I have because I realize that there are people that have it way worse. I want to say that there are people that have it way worse in this life. It could be worse. So be grateful for the position in life where you are at right now. And this is actually how we receive more. When we are grateful, when we are happy with this moment, with this present moment, with this experience, with whatever we got, when we are happy with now, we then tell the universe, we tell the universe, hey, I am ready to receive more. I can allow more into my life when I accept what I have when I am grateful for what I have. So that's what it's all about. You know, to get through the challenges of these times. Sometimes we can think, we're thinking about what we don't have. We're thinking about, you know, this person's living their dream life and I'm not. This person's living a life that I want to live and I'm not right now. No, I want to tell you, you are actually living your dream life right now. It's all about your perspective. Are you grateful for your life? Are you happy with your life? you can find happiness right where you are. Moana, okay? Moana said it, guys. The Disney movies. The Disney movies reveal the secrets. You can find happiness right where you are. You don't have to wait for something else to come. You don't have to wait for a different circumstance to come. You can find the happiness with literally whatever position you are in. You can be happy with whatever position you are in. And that's this journey. That's this journey of ascension. It's realizing that there isn't mo always more to get. It's, all, it's about being here more. It's about being here more in this experience. Then more is going to just come. But at that point, it's crazy because we weren't even attached to it, right? When you let go of the attachment to the dream life you want to live, that's when it actually comes to you, guys. The paradox, the paradox of life. When you let go, you tell the universe, hey, I'm ready to receive. When you let it all go, you let go of the expectations, you let go of the ideas, you let go of how your life could be, of how it could be going, and you say, I am good right here. I am going to be happy with what I have. And that's the power of your spirit. Your spirit, the human being, has the power 
has so much power with your mind. You can say, I'm good with now, I'm happy with where I'm at, and that's enough. And I notice that when I come out in nature, when I come out and feel my own energy, get in tune with myself, when I'm doing this, I don't even have to try, guys. I don't even have to try. Life is good. Life is great. This is how life is supposed to be out in nature. And this is also part of the ascension. This is part of the ascension symptoms. Letting go of the fake life. Guys, we are letting go of the fake life. We're letting go of the fake personas. We're letting go of the fake identities. And we are bringing in the real, natural, authentic life which is nature, which is harmony, which is connection with other human beings without judgment. That's another thing. You know, to get through this time, I encourage all of you to connect with other human beings. There are people out there just like you. There are people out there just like me. Guys, talk in the comments, do whatever. It doesn't matter, right? All that matters is that we are connecting with each other, human connection. Even right now, watching me, that's great. Connecting with energy. This is what the new earth is about. This is what the new energy is about. This is what the ascension is about. It's about connecting with like souls, connecting with like minds, being one with nature, being one with your fellow human being. We got so disconnected in this world. We got so detached from ourselves and from each other. We got detached and disconnected from ourselves and from each other. But now is the time when we are coming back together. We are coming back together, coming back to nature, coming back to wholeness, coming back to purity, coming back to connection. It wasn't always this way. It wasn't always so disconnected, guys. It wasn't always a world where we're afraid to talk to each other, where we're afraid to interact with each other. But unfortunately, it has gotten this way in this world. But at the same time, I just want to say that if you are working on yourself, you are heading in the right direction. With these ascension symptoms that we're feeling, yes, it's hard to be with life sometimes. Yes, it's hard to be with the energies of ascension, to be with the changes, to be with the struggles and the challenges that we're facing. But I want to tell you to be with everything. That's a mantra that you can tell yourself to get through this time, to get through this crazy eclipse energy. Be with everything. Be with your struggles. Be with your challenges just as much as you be with the good times, just as much as you be with the positive times, the happy times. Okay, be with everything. Be with everything, because that's what this life is about. It's about being present in the moment. It's about being present in the moment with everything, no matter how good it is, no matter how bad it seems. It's about being with everything. Tell yourself, be with now. It's something I tell myself in my head. Be with now. Be with it. Yes, it's challenging, but love it. Okay, love your journey. Going through these ascension symptoms, going through this evolution, letting go of the old life. It's all about letting go of the old life, letting go of the old habits, the old connections in our brain. We got so used to disconnect. We got so used to being in our comfort zone so much. We got so used to stagnation. But now we're getting used to flow. We're getting used to change. We're getting used to energetic flow and natural energetic flow in nature. And it's not easy letting go of the old life, letting go of the comforts that we once had, letting go of the warm, comfy bed. Guys, I had to move out and let go of the warm, comfy bed. And now I got the warm, comfy sun instead, okay? So it's all perfect. It's all perfect. When you decide to love your journey, when you decide to love your journey rather than look at it as a bad thing, look at it as a struggle, look at it as all negative and hard and get down on yourself, the more you can say, I love my journey, the more you can say that, the better off we're going to be and the stronger we are going to become. 
because love will make you stronger love is full acceptance love is being with everything like i just said when you love your journey you are being with your journey when you love someone you are being with them right that is what love is in my eyes you know love really is it's connection it's the opposite of disconnect it's being with being with everything you know connecting with each other connecting with yourself being with yourself and a lot of humans on the planet we don't want to be with ourselves we, we don't want to be with our own thoughts we want to distract ourselves with the Netflix we want to distract ourselves with all the distractions right that's what we want to do that's what's that's what's easy to do but I encourage you to do the thing that is not easy do the thing that is hard today because you know it's going to help you ascend because you know it's going to help you grow do the thing that is hard today do the thing that is challenging do the thing that makes you kind of scared because that's what's going to help you grow move towards the change flow with the change in your life the season of change is all about allowing in the new energies we are in scorpio season and scorpio season is the middle of fall it's the middle of the fix it's the fixed season the middle of fall so we are in the heart of this change we are really feeling it right now we are really feeling this change we're really in it and i encourage you to don't step out of it be with it love it so much follow your heart this is how we can get through any challenges that come up because guys challenges are going to come up fears are going to come up during this time but it's all helping us to grow it's all helping us forcing us to be with it forcing us to be with the change and that's what i want you to do it's be with the changes in your life allow them in with open arms allow them in hug them tightly hug the changes tightly allow them in and realize that we don't have to make everything perfect this is a big thing that i'm realizing right now as well we don't have to make everything so perfect because it is already perfect this life was already written your destiny was already written your life is already perfect you don't have to try and change things everything in your life is perfect look at life this way when you look at life this way you have full acceptance of everything you have full acceptance of everything that comes your way the changes the fears the challenges the uncertainties everything that comes your way when you say I'm going to love it I'm going to allow it in hug it you can get through it you can be with it you can allow it to happen allow it to unfold and when you allow the change in rather than resisting it and holding on to what is comfortable holding on to what you're used to when you allow the change in you say to the universe hey i am ready to experience this life i am ready to move to the next level i am ready to fully enjoy this life and i am ready to live the life of my dreams i am ready to live the life of my dreams this is what you're telling yourself when you say i'm gonna accept it i'm gonna let go of the perfection i'm gonna let go of the idea that i have to make everything right because that's what happened in this world we started to think like we can do everything we you know human beings are the ultimate species we can conquer the land we can build buildings no okay no nature knows all nature knows best we are a part of nature we are nature we got to live in harmony with nature we can't say i'm going to conquer this land i'm going to own this land i'm going to own nature no no it was here before us the trees were here before us respect mother nature okay that's another way to get through these ascension symptoms respect mother nature respect mother nature love mother nature it was here long before you long before you okay and when you respect mother nature you start to love mother nature and when you start to love mother nature and respect mother nature you start to love yourself you start to have love for yourself and for your journey so be with it be with nature don't try to force things in your life don't try to change things in your life be with it 100 
yes, it's going to be rough. It's going to be hard dealing with these changes and these ascension symptoms. But we can be with it. We can choose to be strong and choose to be with it. And like I said, remember your strength. You are stronger than you know. You are more resilient than you know. You can accomplish more than you know. Your power is limitless. Your power is infinite. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Remember that during this time. And you can get through this time with ease. You can get through this time and start living the life of your dreams right now in this present moment. It's all about exiting the mindset that I have to try and get somewhere, that I have to try and be somewhere, and being with everything. That is the ascension. That is what we're going through. That is what we are experiencing at this time on the planet. The huge changes, the huge upgrades, the huge energy shifts. It's all perfect. It's all so perfect. So be with it. Connect with human beings. Connect with energies that are resonant with you. Connect with people that you resonate with. Connect. It's all about connection and love and harmony. Connection with everything. Connection with yourself connection with nature connection okay guys connection thank you all so much for tuning into this message i want you to like this video so more people can hear this message about the ascension the eclipse energies the craziness that's going on thank you all so much i want you to like comment subscribe go in the description join my patreon donate below and also buy my crystals Thank you all so very much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I love you all, and I want you to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.